Welcome back to another episode of Sykesville Stangs. Kia has an interesting SUV lineup, starting with the Kia Soul, the Sportage, and the Sorento. Last year, we were introduced to the 2018 Kia Stinger, and it changed the sports sedan market, in my opinion, forever. Now Kia has a new SUV, and you're about to see it next on this episode of Sykesville Stangs. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Yes, yeah, so as you can see, today we are in the 2020 Kia Telluride. And I'm going to give you as much information as I possibly can. And um, I told you we would have the review for you, and here it comes to you right now. So, brand new. And the SUV lineup for Kia is the all-new 2020 Kia Telluride. And today we are reviewing the LX V6 model. And as you can see here, this has the infotainment center right here with Sirius XM radio, media, seek, all your good stuff. This is push button, quick guides, UVO info system. This specific model does not have the Harman Kardon stereo system. But from what I can see, you have one, two, maybe six to eight speakers in it. Um, we will find out how many, tr the speed, we will find out the transmission speed and all that good stuff, engine size in a minute. But for right now, I'm just gonna give you what's on the interior. So here you have your dome lights buttons here. They are not LED, as you can see. You have your UVO button here. I guess this is for emergencies this button there. You do have your speakers here, I'm assuming for when you're on the phone talking to folks. You have your climate control knobs here, zero through four. Your rear defroster for your window there. Seatbelt warning light here, AC control here. Your direction of where you want the airflow to go knob is right here. This is from air from the outside button, and this is circulating or recirculating the air on the inside. You have your rear climate control right here. Right here, you have your climate control for the cold air and the heat right there. Just leave that in the middle. Um, let's check out the stereo real quick. Sounds pretty good. Right here, your 12 volt cigarette lighter thing right there. I keep forgetting what to call that. USB right here, and you do have your USB cell phone charger right here. And I'm assuming you can put your cell phone right here to charge it. I don't have my cell phone on me, so I can't test that theory. You also have a nice glove compartment space. Well, not glove compartment, but you have a nice compartment space to store stuff here. Keys, like I had the key here. You can also put another cell phone there, change or whatever. Right here, you have another little, another little compartment to store things here's your cup holders right here you have your different modes eco mode snow mode smart mode sport mode and comfort mode parking assist is right here auto on auto off is right there 
that if you're stopped in traffic, the engine shuts off and it'll start back up again once you take your foot off the brake. You have the auto hold, which will automatically hold the brake where you don't have to keep your foot you, you don't have to keep your foot rested on the brake. So that's what that button's for. And then you have your parking brake button right here. So you just pull this up. You heard a little lever engage and that puts your parking brake on. As you can see, right there. Right now we're in eco mode. It does have 160 on the dash. We couldn't test drive this one because they are all out of dealer tags where we can actually take it on the road. So getting back to business here, the transmission does shift smooth. Your glove box is right here. Plenty of storage compartment. That thing goes deep down in there. You have this little box here that you can stick right there. Uh, you can't shift it forward. I thought you could adjust it, but you can't. It just it remains stationary right here. And that's about it for the glove box. Nice leather seats with the gray stitching. Got some air pocket holes here in the seats. I don't see where these are heated and cooled seats. So I don't believe they are no sunroof in this model you do have some lights back here and the beauty of this SUV is that it goes all the way back and it has third row seats nice feature new for 2020 at Buchanan Kia here in Westminster Maryland shout out to them as you can see this is the LX V6 model you have your backup camera right there Now, what I don't see, ah, here's your exhaust, your single exhaust, way down there. Rear wiper. This is not a power lift gate, so you do have to manually do it. Again, it's the LX model. So coming up here, your spare tire is somewhere beneath this vent here i'm not going to dig in there and try to figure out where it is but allegedly it's down there <laughs> again as i mentioned earlier you do have third row seats if you need more cargo space you just pull this lever here your headrest folds down automatically and the seats just go down that simple Bring it back up, let the strap go, locks in place, hit rest comes back up. Now, to get to the third row seat, that's a different story. So come on around the side and I'll show you how that's done. So, to get to the third row seat, there's a button there. So I'm gonna push this first and then I'm in. I'm in the third row. I'm at least five, six. I got plenty of headroom back here. Leg room is for a guy my size is adequate, but I'm not cramped. I'm not uncomfortable. I can endure this for about a couple hours or so, and then I would have to get out and stretch. It's not bad at all. Um, if you hand me the camera, I do see a USB port back here for your passengers back here, right there. You do have some cup holders and stuff right here. And another one on the side where you can charge right there. And as you can see, you have some vents right here. And I haven't seen this. But right here, if you see that, you have your climate control for your passengers in the rear. The same options you have in the front, you have in the rear. You can adjust your climate fan speed right there whether you want it in your face just your legs or your entire body your temperature hot cold and everything would light up right there your wool handles back here i don't see any for the uh third row passengers you just probably would have to hold on right here so this is nice i i see why they can't keep them in stock because uh <laughs> this is a nice suv um 
easy to get in and out of. Easy to put back. All right, so let me tell you some more details about this 2020 Kia Telluride. But before I do, we are riding on Michelin tires. 245 60 18 with four wheel disc brakes all around all right the 2020 telluride lx v6 all wheel drive gravity gray with the black leather interior uh, we have a 3.8 liter gas direct injection engine six cylinder eight speed automatic transmission she's riding on those 18 inch alloy wheels you know all about the safety features, airbags, blah, 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 blah. Um, you do have leather seats. You have your blind spot collision avoidance system, rear cross traffic collision avoidance, lane keeping assist, parking distance warning, reverse, smart cruise control with stop and go. That's a nice feature. Uh, rear occupant alert, ultrasonic sensors, safe exit assist, smart key push button start, which is this right here and then the push button start in there as i demonstrated you have a uh, one usp jack and a five usp charging ports which i've shown you throughout the vehicle uh you do have third row seats heated outside mirrors with turn signals the best warranty in the business at 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty five year 60,000 mile limited basic warranty and five year 60,000 mile roadside assistance any more details regarding that, ask your dealer. All right, so the big reason I think these vehicles are flying off the shelf is the price. So you get all this, the size, the third row seat, the V6, all the features that come with the LX model for a manufacturer suggested retail price of $33,690. Now with the floor mats, mud guards, and wheel locks, floor mats 210, mud guards 115. Uh, these right here, your mud guards, that's a $150, $115 option. You got wheel locks right here, wheel locks right there. That'll cost you 60 bucks. And then you have the carpeted floor mats that'll run you 210 for a grand total of $35,120. That's not bad at all, guys. If I'm being honest, for this size vehicle, that, that is not bad. Not bad at all. I think it's a great vehicle. But as I mentioned, we can't take it on the road. So I do apologize for that. But we were told we could drive around in the parking lot. So um, let's do that. Push button, start button right there. very quiet we're going to put up the windows and see how much of that exterior noise you get in the cabin with all four windows up speaking of all four windows all four windows on the driver's side are automatic up and automatic down two thumbs up shift and reverse you got your camera Big screen here, you can kind of see what's what. Now, I doubt I get out of third gear, but the ride from what we get in the parking lot, we just went over a bump. That was pretty smooth. Just taking a look at what's on the lot here at Buchanan Kia. Brakes feel good. They haven't sold that Ram yet. I wonder what they're asking for that.
Okay, here's your Sorrentos right here. So given the size of the Sorrento, which used to be their biggest SUV model, and now we're cruising in the Telluride. This is the big boy, the new kid on the block. To your left here, we have your Sportages, which is like your midsize SUV. And then you have the Soul, which is like your compact box type SUV. Steering feels very comfortable. I like it. I ain't going front. Everybody, they're like, look, look, people, please, please stop sleeping on Kia. Stop sleeping. They've been in the game a long time. I know back when they came around in the early 90s, I, I get it. I understand. But it's 2019, get ready to go on 2020. They have come a long way. I'm sure they've learned from their mistakes. And as a result, you can see that in this vehicle if you're in the market for a large suv big but not too big then this this telluride is um something you should really take a look at test drive it for yourself and then make your own opinion and with that being said i want to once again thank buchanan kia and kaheen for letting us do this review all their information will be in the description below they're located in Westminster, Maryland, Railroad Avenue. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for taking valuable time out of your life to check out all our videos. Thank you to all our current and new subscribers. And with that being said, we're out. Y'all be easy. Peace.